I think one misconception is that sharks are angry or evil or, you know, there's a, there's a sort of, we impute all kinds of meanness to them and, and they're not. They're just trying to, they're trying to get a sandwich just like we are. You know, they just need to, they need to be fed. Humans should definitely be afraid of sharks. I mean, you know, it's, it's a fact of life. There aren't very many, you know, gangly things out there with four legs and four arms that are just floating around on the surface, splashing. So there's really nothing in their repertoire to match with what they see in humans. I think this is why um, their responses to humans is to try to get a better understanding, to, to actually get closer and, you know, mouth something. You know, they, they learn a lot with their mouth. There's a piece of the whole shark puzzle that I think the biologists are still missing, and that's the hunger level of the shark. It's very difficult to know what that is. You know, what you should not do is ever lose eye contact, because they're, they're watching you. They want to know whether you're looking at them. If you're not looking at them, they're going to come from behind you and take a nibble. The, the shark um, population is probably going up pretty fast. And as the shark population goes up, the, the food that's available to them could very well be become limited. And in that case, then they you may have more attacks. But the fact remains that your chances of dying in a car accident when you drive to the beach are much greater than your chances of actually being eaten while you're at the beach.